So I finally have some time to uh, start on next year's Halloween props. I'm about six days post-op from some turbinate reduction and some septoplasty surgery that I had. Uh, not a fan of that, but hopefully the outcome is better than uh, what was happening to me before. So uh, in my downtime, I uh, went to Home Depot yesterday, first day out of the house in about six days, and purchased some large tubes, and I'm going to make a large fake tree. I want to really make it like an animated tree, kind of something Disney-ish or theme park-ish, instead of just a traditional um, standard uh, static prop, but I don't know anything about electronics, so I don't know if that will actually work. So I bought some concrete tubes at Home Depot. They were about 15 bucks each for the 12 inch. Tell them how love you are with the tubes. I hate pools. You hate what? Do you love tubes? Then why are you hugging it? I'm trying to. Okay, this is what I built so far. As you can see, it is the concrete tubes from Home Depot and I just used a little I think it's ducting tape and some screws in the side to kind of hold it together they fit right inside each other and do the seams like that so this tube obviously is a lot smaller I just cut a hole in and then shoved it inside there and that should hold up it, it seems pretty sturdy so now what I need to do is I need to create a base for the bottom so this thing doesn't uh, tip over and I don't really know what to do with it because I don't want it extending out here into this area where people might walk so I don't know I don't want to obviously attach it to my concrete because this is uh, not going to be a year-long uh, prop that stays up all the time so from right here is somewhere in this area I'm gonna put the face I looked at Amazon for some pre-made tree masks that were animated that I could probably put inside but none of them looked how I wanted them to look I don't want to really go really scary I kind of want to look cartoony instead of scary because there's gonna be a lot of kids here probably cut a hole out or something I don't know exactly I have some drawings and then from here I'll use some PVC tubing to do longer branches I got that's what the pull noodles are for pull noodles there and then I'll run some pull noodles up and down this area as well. I'm looking for foam covering stuff that you could put on the outside of the foam to protect it. One of the concerns that I have, a lot of people said that the foam noodles um, contract and expand. I don't want this prop to deteriorate over time. What I want is I want it to be long lasting and I want to build on the props year after year. The HalloweenForum.com had ideas on dry lock mixed with some cheesecloth. Um, there's a lady that had done a hellhound that looked fantastic. Probably well outside my uh, knowledge or ability to do. And we'll see how it goes. Um, once this build is done or in the process of doing this build, I'm going to build some arches and uh, kind of like an entryway. I don't know if I'm going to go too far past that on the builds just because I have a regular job like everybody else. I don't do this full time and I only have so much time available to build this stuff and hopefully this gives me enough time starting in March to get everything ready for next Halloween. We're going to have a large party and continue to watch. Please click the like button if you like the videos. Thanks so much for watching.